Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look at how to create an interactive table of contents using YouTube annotations. Now, this is a video that I uploaded earlier today about creating choose your own adventure instructional videos. It's 10 minutes and 44 seconds, but not everyone's going to want to watch the whole thing. Um, within this I go through several topics, creating a YouTube channel, um, how to import the videos, how to add in music, how to add in transitions, um, and then how to do the annotations at the end. And normally to get from piece to piece you do what I'm doing right now, which is kind of scrubbing through or skipping around in the timeline, which isn't really um, usually easy. You can't hear in the narration if this is the right place to go. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a table of contents within this video so that people at the beginning and end can skip forward and back much like uh, a DVD chapter. And it's pretty easy to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the annotations button here at the bottom. And at the beginning... Hi everyone! Today oops, we're going let's to go take ahead and pause this. And then at the very, very beginning of my video, what I can do is click Add Annotation. And I can go ahead and do a note because notes uh, easily allow you to put in links. And I could put in the different sections of my video. So I could say, um, I could say something like, oh, let's go here to see. Um, click below to skip ahead to different topics within this video. So this is just going to be kind of like the directions, but then underneath that I'll add another annotation that has the different topics. So the first topic that I go through are creating a YouTube channel, then I'll Hi do, everyone. Oops, Today we're going pause this and go back, so I've got creating a YouTube channel, I've got, let's see here, um, then after that I talk about using YouTube Editor to combine two video clips. I have using YouTube Editor to add and edit free music tracks. I'm going to go ahead and make these a little bigger so you can see them. Um, I could also do, let's do one more, just so you get the idea. I'll say, notes, uh, using annotations to create clickable links within a video. All right, so I have, um, my directions up here. I have all of the information I want. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on each of these so that they link to a different part of this video. And again, this is very, very easy to do. So all I need to do is go to that video again. So I'm going to open it up. Oops. I'm going to open it up. Oopsies. I'm going to open up the video in Hi, another Today we're going to window. So I'm going to click on this link, open link in new tab. Here's the video. And I'm going to scrub ahead here to see where I need to go. So let's take a look. Adventure instructional video. You'd write your first name, last name, and so right about here. And then, and then you're going to on YouTube. You're going to dot com. Okay, and this is right about the point where I explain how to create the channel. So I'm 18 seconds in, and that's important for you to note how many seconds you're in. So what I'm going to do here is find that link, that's, or that box right here, creating a YouTube channel. And I'm going to grab my YouTube link, which is going to stay the same, and I'm going to click link down here. And I'm going to say start linked video at 18 seconds. I can just do that right down here. 18 seconds. There we go. So let's go ahead and save and apply changes and just take a look and see how that looks now. So if I refresh this video, I can skip ahead to creating a YouTube channel and you can see it skips right ahead to that section. So let's go ahead and try this with the next one. So using YouTube Editor to combine two video clips. 
So I'm going to click on that one, click link. I should still have the video link saved in here and it's right there. So I've got the video link right there. If I didn't, I could right click here and go to open a new tab and here's the link. So I'm just using the link to the actual YouTube video. And then I want to see where I begin to combine the two click YouTube continue. clips. So the next clip is students. You can have a formative assessment already uploaded to create um, an, an entire piece. So here's so here's about where I want to go. Two minutes and fifteen seconds. So I'm going to go right here, and I'm going to have it start at two minutes and fifteen seconds. The next one is using YouTube Editor to add and edit free music tracks. So I'm going to click link, paste the video link in here, and see where I begin to add music tracks. And it looks like oh, right about here. Let's take a look. If I were to stop it, I could split the clip in the middle and have two clips. I could also bring in my own audio track here. So that audio was audio track here. If about fifty two clips, I could all about uh, two minutes and fifty-two seconds. So I'm going to say two minutes and fifty-two seconds. And then finally, using annotations, so let's skip all the way ahead. And here's the annotation section, right about here. And this fourth button, which is annotations. And that's what we're going to do, where you could edit the input or to a reteach video. So it's right about here. So at, uh, let's see, here, 5 minutes and 28 seconds, I have the ability to skip ahead. So I'm going to add link, 5 minutes and 28 seconds. That's where I begin to talk about using annotations to create cl clickable links within a video. So I click save. Now what I want to do is see how long these, uh, these annotations stay on the screen. So let's go ahead and take a look. Oops. Very own Choose Your Own Adventure instructional videos. This is great for differentiation and allowing your students some agency in how they learn. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to you. So right about here, I'd like the annotations to go away so that folks can focus on the content of what I'm going to be talking about. So you can see I have the play uh, head right here. This is the where I'm at in the video. So I'm just clicking on each of these annotation boxes and I'm trimming them down right to where that play head is so they disappear right here. So let me move this back so you can see what it looks like now that I've trimmed them down. This is great for differentiation and allowing your students some agency in how they learn. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to YouTube so you can see they disappear right here when I start getting into the meat and potatoes of this video.